Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we're going to try and get to the moon and probably we'll want some more technology for that. I usually wait until I get the Terrier but we don't have enough science just yet. And I, I don't think I strictly need battery power. And well we could start our way there by researching general rocketry. But maybe we should see what kind of additional science we can get. Uh, we've got some money. I can upgrade the astronaut complex to get the EVA science. The launch pad upgrade is probably not that necessary at the moment. Uh, we are, I put the setting to hard mode, but I could have sworn the upgrade cost was higher. But maybe I'm thinking in other situations. So, uh, all right. I think the EVA science, I don't know if it's still as good as it used to be, but I've reserved the mystery goo as well. So we'll see. All right, I've upgraded the astronaut complex so they can EVA. We have the moon contract. So let's start with what we have already, because you know, that worked, a space hammer. So I'll just take these off and get five of the new tanks. That'll cut down the part count. EVA also means that the Kerbal can grab the goo information. Oops. So for the most part, we can't really change this rocket, except we can reduce the amount of ablator. We found that out. I felt that 50 was more than enough. 60 will also be more than enough. Uh, though we might be tossing it to a higher orbit, we'll see. We would like to have goo containers, so I'm going to put those on. I'm gonna tuck them in like that. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should not do part clipping. Because, but it's just for aesthetics, it's not... Well, I mean, you could say it's functional, because if they're sticking out, they might burn up. So, you know, I I'll be nicer. We'll put them down here, because I, I would be worried about them blowing up like that. But then ablative mystery goo containers aren't too bad. But we'll have the Kerbal EVA out and grab the information instead. So, we'll put them there. And we'll unlock the barometer. I guess we'll put, just put them on the side instead of on that side. It might be more convenient this way for the Kerbal to grab them. Grab the information, I mean. Okay, well, it is a science attempt. We're gonna go to... Just go to orbit and do the EVA science and do Mystery Goo science. And that'll be that. Space Hammer 2. Oh, I didn't really check who was in there. I think it's Val's turn. Yeah, I'll, I'll let Val do it. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, we don't have an EVA. Do, do we have an EVA pack? Hmm, that's a good question. Yes, we do. Yeah, I had taken it off of Jeb before, but we now have the EVA pack. Very important. Okay, SAS on, and throttle up, and go. Okay, turning. We can do some science already. Let's get the pressure data, and I'll keep... I'll uh, save Mr. Groove for high atmosphere and space. I forget if we've done the thermometer here. Nope. Keep. Landscape looking okay. Uh, somebody suggested, I'm sure a lot of people will suggest, that I put in visual mods. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I don't want a whole lot of people saying, hey, that's not stock, you know, because I'm going to keep calling it stock career. But hopefully I can sneak like stock visual enhancements through. It has stock in the name. Okay, not the most efficient thing I've ever done. We are in the high atmosphere now. Uh, so we did the thermometer already. Observe mystery goo. Okay, keep. Have we done the crew report here? Yes. I won't do high 
Kerbin orbit just yet. So I think this should be capable of it if we do things right. Eh, maybe my orbit might be too much for it, we'll see some other time, but I want to get the low orbit stuff first. So, Mystery Goo in low orbit, near Kerbin, keep. Okay, and time for Valentina's first EVA, here we go. Alright, Valentina's outside, EVA report. Okay, just above Kerbin's waters, keep. And, oh, we've got a rotation. Got that. Uh, collect data. Yeah, remove data. We definitely have to collect all the data because those are going to be lost. Okay, take data. Okay, that should be everything. So we can get the high atmosphere from the barometer. Okay, I didn't think it would precess that, I mean, not precess, but just wobble around that much. Okay, um, we're probably still over the water right now. Nope. It's starting to move again. Shores, keep. Board. And, uh, I think that's because they've got mass now. But, that's interesting. No, no, ah, uh, missed it. They haven't got persistent rotation in the game yet, I notice. Okay. Shores we just did. Grasslands, keep. Islands. Maybe should have gone into a polar orbit. You know, this uh, residual rotation is going to be tricky for some situations. I think these must be mountains. Yes, mountains. And around here we get the deserts. And that'll be that for the normal set of biomes that we get on an equatorial orbit. Yep. Okay. So, I still want to splash down close to the KC even though it's in the dark. Uh, yeah, we'll just go one more orbit first. You know what, if, uh, if we go a few more orbits, it'll be in daylight, so... It's not like I have to worry about life support or anything, you know? <laughs> Good times. I think this'll do. So, retrograde. And that'll be good enough. Letting go of the stage. We should have all the stuff. Lots of juicy science, right? 10 data. That seems less than I was looking for. You guys don't have any more data, right? Better not. Okay. I'll better not have forgotten anything. Separation. I'm gonna make the reaction wheel a little bit less touchy so that I can better hold retrograde. Again, I like to not just trust the atmosphere on this, having past experiences where the atmosphere has done me wrong. We do still want the barometer reading from the high atmosphere. Here we go. And double check the well we didn't do uh, temperature from high atmos uh, high atmosphere either so okay might as well just check everything we might be coming a little bit short this time hope not too short but I think we're a little bit lower this time at this point than we were last time I think because we put less of later on there's more drag. Our ballistic coefficient is better, you know, we are putting less mass on the same heat shield area, but that means we're slowing down faster than we did last time.
Then again, she's carrying an EVA pack this time. I don't know how that all balances out. Maybe I just picked the wrong place to re uh, start the re-entry burn. Anyway, it's not going to be the mountains, at least. Unfortunately, not an interesting biome either. We're going to end up on grasslands, which we've already done the surface science from. Though, perhaps not the barometer reading. Will we have enough science to get the terrier? That is the question. Poop. Okay. Recover vessel. Oh, shoot. I forgot the barometer thing. Oh, great. How much is it? How much is it? Ah, 60. We're good. All right, and we've got all things, Val is level one, and Terrier time. Okay, uh, so now we should be able to purchase a rocket that can go to the moon. First things first, we don't know exactly how much ablator we need for a lunar trip, so let's not... Uh, let me take that off. Let's not have it underdone too much. Let's say 120. Feel like that's probably good. Um, we'll have the EVA pack. We won't have the barometer this time. So we are replacing this stage, that engine with the Terrier engine which hopefully still has its previous stats, it does and vacuum ISP close to sort of the ideal at least as close as we're gonna get in this case I think and that looks like enough to get to the moon uh, we could probably put a little bit more fuel on for the Terrier stage because the you know, to weight ratio is pretty low and it's lighter. We're, we have the same fuel, but it's about a ton lighter than the swivel, so surely putting a half ton should not be a problem. Yeah, I think we'll keep it like that and hope for the best. Space Hammer 3. So... Is this safe? Can I do a moon mission like this? Because the problem with the moon mission right now is I don't have patched conics right now. Maybe we can unlock patched conics. Uh, no, we can't. It costs 300,000. So I'm going to have the, the return from the moon is not going to be the easiest thing ever. It'll require more delta V than normal. I mean, it's not huge. But uh, it just requires more Delta V than normal, so I have to keep that in mind. Alright, I mean, I've, I've done bad things to Jeb in this situation before, <laughs> so I have, to, I have to remember that. Maybe we shouldn't have the EVA pack, I'll have to think about that. Well, I guess we'll leave it. Alright. Time to go to the moon. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and obviously we want to get into orbit with as much delta V as possible. Ignition. Jeb now has the prograde and retrograde functions. That will be helpful. I am turning a bit slowly compared to what I'd normally do, and that's mainly because of the lack of gimbling on the SRB stage. Of course we have the reaction wheel in the pod, but I'm just being overly cautious. Uh, potentially the expense of some Delta V. Okay, staging. Okay, so we're going to go with the moon poking over the horizon time frame for transferring to the moon. 
as per legendary Kerbal lore. Hope I don't have too much inclination from the fact that we weren't quite pointing right. I'm gonna correct some of that, but I don't want to correct too much. Seems like a lot of Delta V available. Seems like it. If we could count on a free return, it'd be plenty because it only takes 800 something to get there. But we can't necessarily count on the free return because I can't plot it out. So the moon should be poking over the horizon soon. We have to watch the electric charge. I'm gonna diminish the reaction wheel authority as soon as I... I hope it takes less electric charge if it has less wheel authority. I don't know if that's the case. Okay, there's the moon. And... go! Just point at prograde, please. Okay. Let's be careful here. We want to go just a little bit beyond the moon's orbit. Something like that. We want to give ourselves that amount of time. Remember, we're slow at apoapsis, so we're giving ourselves that amount of time to hit it. If we only just barely touched it, that wouldn't give us as much time to hit the moon. Uh, unfortunately, our inclination sucks. So, there's that. Slowly. We should do high or high curb in orbit here. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, you don't have to. Oh, shoot. That's electric charge I didn't need to waste. Okay, just hold for now. Okay, high over Kerbin. Yes. EVA. We, didn't, we don't really use the EVA pack, but just in case, it's probably good policy. Especially with this residual flipping around that happens. Let's grab the thermometer reading, which... Long Kerbal Arms somehow, stretchy Kerbal Arms. Get to it. I'm gonna... well, I'm just gonna use the Time Warp thing to stabilize it, heck. They haven't decided to do persistent rotation. They haven't decided to do persistent rotation. Okay, well, that is a polar pass at the moon with really a non-existent periapsis. Uh, I don't super want a polar pass around the moon. At least we're going around the preferable way. Um, I have 772 meters per second. Uh, okay, SAS might be necessary here. Is this the right way around? I mean, uh, to pull it out, yeah, but I want to sort of Flip my orbit a little bit more decisively this way. No, it's that's the other way. Taking some liberties here. We probably could have made orbit around the moon. Uh, do we have to? I think explore the moon just says fly by. So we'll wait until an orbit contract to go into orbit around the moon. I don't know why it's showing the periapsis there. That's weird. Why is it showing the PE right there? That makes me concerned. <laughs> okay, well that's as much as we can correct from the inclination. We'll go with this. I think 22 should get us low over the moon. Okay, but first, high over the moon. Log temperature. And crew report. I didn't do crew report high over the earth. And EVA report. Honestly, the stumbling's gonna be irritating. 
Okay. Alright, when do we get lower of the moon again? Near the moon. Alright, we're there. Report. And EVA. Okay. Well, that's all that stuff. Now we have to get back. What kind of orbit does this actually leave us in is the question. Okay, I mean, it's not a great orbit. Um, we're gonna go out to Apoapsis and bring the Periapsis in, of course. That'll be better. I mean, 615 should not be a problem, but it's better to be paranoid. <laughs> It's better. Uh, uh, one thing is, um, it's a very high apoapsis, so once we get lower, I'll probably bring the apoapsis in with whatever remaining fuel we have, just so that we are not too intense coming back. I'm sh sure the 120 ablator is enough, but, you know, again, better to be paranoid. Uh, a little bit close. But we'll manage that as we bring the apoapsis down. Okay, let's bring that apoapsis down, but I'm going to be keeping an eye on the periapsis and making sure that we lift that up so we want to be a little bit radial off of retrograde. And a little bit more radial than that. There we go. I want 26 kilometers for the periapsis. Really, we can bring this down. We're already below moon orbit. Maybe I shouldn't do that too much. I do want to see how much ablator we use. So I'll leave it here, even though we could easily bring it down further than this. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer before we separate it off the stage. Stage set. And surface retrograde, please. I I think I had wanted to do some science that I forgot, I'm sure, but here we are, coming back. Ablation is happening. Got some heating on the heat shield. Okay, yeah, definitely too much ablator. We used about 40 units. So, even with engineering margins, we should not have more than 80. But we didn't, we didn't actually come back from lunar height, lunar altitude. Lunar, I say, mooner, mooner altitude. So, gotta account for that. But the engineering margins should do that. So, we'll put 80 next time. Okay, parachute. Islands, okay, well, we'll be able to get some signs that way then. Whoa, rough. Okay, crew report from the Highlands, EVA. EVA report, yep. Grab the thermometer reading. And... Because we did it from the air above before. All right, now we've got all the things. Hopefully, recover vessel. So, successful flyby of the moon. Hopefully that satisfies that contract. We've got the money. Gather scientific data from the moon. Yep. Still didn't require the Kerbal to come back. <laughs> but I guess uh, that's so that it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to launch a Kerbal. It could be a probe after all. But then you could also require that the probe comes back. But anyway, no, but that's not necessary necessary. 91 science, so probably basic science, but you know, we could get all heavy. There's the ant engine, there's the ant engine, the secret to great probes, um, but also important for great probes is the probodobodyne octo. We have enough to go down here and get the solar panels and everything. 
I, I, I never want the pain and suffering of the stay putnik, I have to say. So, but I'll think about that for next time. I'll mull over it. Uh, so, we have done the moon contract. What other contract? Plant a flag on the moon is something that they want us to do. There's a moonstone. That's probably after planting a flag. But here's the orbit the moon. And go an orbital spacewalk and return to Kerbin. So this is next, actually. This is step, the next step. And then we can worry about planting the flag and bringing the moonstone back. Well, we might as well pick this contract up. Yeah, uh, we'll certainly want the moonstone. But for the moonstone, we're going to have to hit a particular biome. Anyway. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.